Uh, so let's start off with what Manis just mentioned, that London in your latest index of European regional growth is the number one city. So is this an attractive market, an attractive city, despite the Brexit uncertainties? Well, that's exactly what the index is saying. Uh, Brexit uncertainties clearly do weigh on all cities in the UK and even some outside the UK. But what we found is that London is is much more diverse, dynamic city than is often given credit for. It isn't intrinsically linked to finance in the EU and therefore the uncertainty around passporting rights, for example. So what we have is uh, if we look at the, the amount of space that has been let in the heart of the financial district, the square mile in London, over the years leading up to the global financial crisis, 2009, what we have is about one in three buildings was let to a bank or a financial institution. Since then, over the last 10 years, it's, been dro it's dropped to one in four. Mm. And very close behind, one in five buildings is actually a technology company. So it is a very diverse city economy. Right. Um, and that's given it a lot of resilience since the EU referendum, and we expect that to remain going forward. So then is there any sort of outcome from Brexit that could change your investment thesis, that could knock London off its number one spot? Uh, of course, uh, if we have a no-deal Brexit and we exit uh, very soon, either October or, or not, not long thereafter, there would be an impact. And here's where we actually benefit from having now 20 years history of EREGI, which is looking at the relative performance of different economics. You uh, being your index, of course. Yes, so, excuse me, yeah, the European Regional Economic Growth Index. Um, and what we know is how cities perform during times of crises. So you take London, for example. Um, back in 2009, it fell from rank number one in Europe to rank number eighth. But by 2010, it was number one again. And mm -hmm. same with the EU referendum, it fell from first to second place in 2016 and then was number one again in 2017. So whilst we, we don't know exactly what the aftermath of a no-deal Brexit would entail, given the politics, what we do know is that London is incredibly resilient and will certainly bounce back very quickly. Well, certainly at the moment, foreign investments have to matter here too, with the pound given as weak as it is. How much is that propping up the current market? Well, investment since 2000, the end of 2018 has actually fallen away. Um, and, and a lot of that is due to Brexit, despite there being a weak currency. Right. But what we also know is given the attractive incomes that real estate offers and the transparency that somewhere like London has and its global status, there are queues of investors waiting to go in at the right time. Right. And so you also ma mentioned how tech matters here. And one of the things that we've seen in London and really elsewhere all over Europe is the rise of WeWork, these different co-working spaces. So how do you view them and their demand for space? Well, co-working is a trend that's here to stay, regardless of which companies actually then survive into the long term. And so as investors in buildings, we have to understand exactly how to work with that kind of tenant, that kind of risk profile. But we do believe it's here to stay. And what I would say is, if you look at uh, the co-working offices of today, they're entirely unrecognisable from the co-working offices when we started the index 20 years ago, and I imagine will be different to the ones in 20 years' time. With that in mind, what we focus on, uh, two things. One, are buildings that will always be flexible, so that the future tenant demand that we may not anticipate correctly will still be able, will be able to accommodate that in, in a building, and that may mean repurposing the building entirely, possibly even changing its use from mm. an office to a residential unit, for example. So would this still include also thinking of modern uh, inhabitants, someone like an Amazon looking for last-minute logistics? That's right. Um, Amazon are a key player, but you could say they are, uh, they are where... Uh, they were where we work are today in mm. a company that is trailblazing a sector but not making any profit. Of course, Amazon went on to do extremely well. So what we, what we have to be sure is, is that we are in locations, regardless of the success or not of a building, that will always have demand. Right. And there, e-Reggie helps us right. looking at consistent cities that always perform.